We are in Sudbury today at the Wayside Inn, Sudbury's most historic landmark. Today we're gonna to take a look at some houses, take a look at the town, and give you an idea of what you can get for your money in this beautiful rural town. So let's get to it. So Sudbury is a suburban town located about 25 miles west of Boston. There are no major highways that go through Sudbury, um, but you can get on some secondary roads to get to the major highways that can either bring you east, west, north, or south. So most of Sudbury is rural. There's lots of farmland, homes are spread out, set back, not a lot of sidewalks, windy country roads. There are some neighborhoods that are definitely more suburban, but for the most part, Sudbury has more of a rural feel. There really isn't a specific downtown location. There are various shopping plazas that you can get to, but as far as having one specific downtown with coffee shops and things like that, you won't really find that in Sudbury. So Sudbury has about 19,000 people that live in the town. Vast majority own and very few rent. Very little crime in Sudbury. It is a very quiet, bucolic area of Massachusetts. Niche gave Sudbury an A plus for an overall grade, and it is number 11 for the best suburb in Massachusetts and number 15 for the best place to raise a family in Massachusetts. So it is a highly sought after area of Massachusetts. The schools are highly ranked. There are four elementary schools, one middle school, and Sudbury shares its high school with Lincoln. So it is a regional high school. So Sudbury is steeped with history. You can still see granite sign postings for different towns um, that was used, you know, hundreds of years ago. And in fact, Sudbury has probably the most patriotic zip code in our nation's history. And if you know what it is, put it in the comments below. I'll share it at the end of the video. One of the most historic places in Sudbury is the Wayside Inn. The Wayside Inn is not just an inn. There's also a restaurant, there's a chapel. There are various other buildings on the property, including a barn and a working grist mill. The inn is open year round and you can find people staying at the inn 365 days a year. There's also a restaurant that has a fife band that plays once a week and various other times during the year. So if you have a chance to go during one of the nights that the fife band is playing, definitely go. It is a real experience. The inn does offer various activities throughout the year, including things for young children as well as adults. And if outdoors is more your thing, definitely go check out the Tippling Rock Trail. There are vernal pools, scenic hiking trails, walking paths, and in certain areas of the trail, you can actually see Boston. All right, let's talk about homes. Sudbury is a very attractive place to live, and it will cost you a pretty penny to live in Sudbury. Last year, the average price of a home sold was over a million dollars. And right now, there are 18 homes on the market, with the least expensive one being $379,000, which really isn't an accurate description of the cost of homes in Sudbury, because after that home, the next least expensive home is at around $800,000, which is more typical of the costs of home in Sudbury. And the most expensive home in Sudbury is listed at $5.5 million. So 95% of the homes you're gonna find in Sudbury are listed at a million dollars or more. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a home that's listed just under a million dollars, a home listed at just over a million dollars, and a home that's listed at over $2 million, which by the way, is new construction. So yes, you can get new construction in Sudbury right around that $2 million mark. Before we go check out those homes, I do want to remind you that if you are getting even a smidge of value from this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna learn more about Sudbury and the other towns in the Metro West area, definitely hit subscribe and that little bell so you get notified whenever a new video drops. All right, let's go check out these homes. The first home we're gonna look at is at 105 Mossman Road. This home is listed at $879,000, four beds, two and a half baths. Lot size is almost an acre. The home is um, a little over 2,000 square feet, built in 1964 with taxes at 12,536. This road is kind of a country road um, and it has central air, two car attached garage and oil heat. 
This next home is located at 192 Marlboro Road. It is listed at $1.239 million, five beds, two and a half baths. The lot size is a smidge under an acre. The home is just over 3,000 square feet, built in 1979, and the taxes are $15,794. This home has a really unique brick kitchen, hardwood floors upstairs, freshly painted, and five bedrooms, which is being used, one of them, as an office. Again, this home is on a country road in Sudbury. It has central air and a two-car garage. This last home is on 30 Foxhill Drive. It's listed at $2.250 million, five beds, five and a half baths, lot size, almost 41,000 square feet. The home is just over 5,000 square feet. It is currently being built and taxes have yet to be determined. The home is located on a cul-de-sac in a very well-established neighborhood. All right, so there you have it. Those homes are just a sampling of what you can find in Sudbury and at what price point. If you're interested in any of those homes, want to learn more about them, definitely send me a message or put a comment down below. I always read the comments and I always respond. And if none of those homes really interested you, but you're interested in finding more homes in Sudbury or learning more about the town of Sudbury and the surrounding communities, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you get notified whenever a new video drops. And always feel free to send me a message directly or, like I said, put a comment in the comments down below because I always read them. All right. So with that being done, I will see you next week. Check out the tip link. Tip. Ugh.